Join our viewers now on the Business Matters blog, dedicated to each and every topic burning in the minds of the Business Matters community. WFMZ.com slash bizblog. That's B-I-Z-B-L-O-G. We are back. Business Matters talking about the concerns with the Tea Party, the concerns NAACP has with, with relative to uh, racism. So we're going to go in the studio. Michelle Young, you're in there. It's your Hello. big chance, Michelle. And even though it's your segment, I'm not sure why the guy in front of you has to be in front of you, <laughs> frankly. I don't understand that. I keep trying to get rid of him. What happened to that eject button? Yeah, yeah. Some we people, were working on it. Some people beg for attention. Go ahead, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, this is a serious topic. Okay. Two questions from back here. One name we haven't brought up, and that's Glenn Beck. Love to know if people think that he really is a racist, as many people say, or is it just that he, you know, has strong opinions and they come out wrong? You know, what really what the feelings are in Glenn. And the second thing that we'd like to talk about with President Obama is the uh, episode that happened up in Massachusetts, very unfortunately, uh, when um, Sergeant James Crowley had uh, arrested, I believe, okay. Henry you, Gates. And you feel, Michelle, he had a knee-jerk reaction? Is that what you're concerned about? Well, that's the, the question. If, right. if it would have been... Do you think he overstepped his boundaries? Well, then we'll get to the second question on that. That Crowley, remember, he was very yeah. critical of the police yeah. department. Yeah. Yeah. What your thoughts on that? I, th I thought he was responded respectfully and honestly. And, oh, and I, Esther, you would. Well, no, I, I, I'm, you're sticking up. I mean, I think Esther's here. No, no, no. To... Hey, listen, I... He was a I, horse's patoot, Esther. That's what he was. I, I was going to say, see, there you go, disrespecting the office. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I think that the was voice of extreme, reason, Dwayne, please. Um, I, I think he overreacted. I think okay. there's certain times when the president doesn't have to get involved. Um, this is a situation that can, similar to Sherrod, can easily, you know, go yeah. out of control in a small amount of time, yeah. and I don't think he should have gotten Wait, involved. Wait, my concern that. is that you've been hanging around with Ron a little too much. That's uh, my only no. concern. It scares me, too. <laughs> that, uh, I've agreed He's with him also. He's a moderate but guy my, who looks at the issues. My, yeah. But I, I think when you, you're talking about when it comes to the media and how not only race is portrayed, but also the people that are representing this type of conversation, mm -hmm. I think some people are used to incite those but is it possible? That's a quick question. Is it like possible for Beck. Esther, who grew up in a time where things, the playing field wasn't level? And let's face it. And I think uh, she did. She paid that your dues. No. So, so, <laughs> so, I mean, maybe that's why you're going my to. Views are, my views are different. Yeah. You're going to support your cause, I'm, I'm, you know uh, what? unless it's huge. You know, I'm sitting here Esther's and I'm thinking. She always was. Esther, Esther what? Esther's tunnel vision. She always was. She will always be. No matter if we had six I black presidents, part. an entire <laughs> black Congress, and 90% of black Senate, she'd say we don't have enough. I'm not going to talk about you from the North Country. <laughs> okay. Where the most recent incident up there in Rosetta. Uh, I won't talk about that. Rosetta's uh, a wonderful place. <laughs> but any, anyway. I came up and, you know, we were taught that Democrats are for the people. And I'm a people's representative. Well, that's 1930s, Esther. That's okay. I, you know, that's Absolutely. a good deal. Hey, I don't want to miss that point, by the way, on that Rosetta yeah, thing. That yeah. concerned you about what? That, the, Absolutely. The Obama, uh, Absolutely. Thing? It's okay. the image of the, uh, where but we're taking we the president. That the Bush there. Corner, it's at Seaside Heights this week. Okay. It's I a know. horrible game. But, that's, but that's, that's okay. But we're talking about generations that come along, and the impact on me is greater. Uh, Mr. Engel, this morning? Then it, it would be on you. Esther, you've got to lighten up. Yeah. The world's came a long ways. It's You're not, still but we the aren't there yet. Over. But we are not there yet, Ron. Are we well, getting, well, what do you want to get, get there? We're not getting close. I dare say this morning that I would say that racism will never be rid of it. Well, maybe well, it's part of you. Never. But is it safe to say that African Americans have come up with I mean, life? I mean, it's come Listen, a long not way. according to Esther. Not according to Esther, it hasn't. No. They're still, they're, they've just been freed just last week from slavery. That's all the feather they've what? got with us. Hi, that's I all. Bet that's I better get, I better you better move on. I disagree. You better it move really on. Is. If, if just on a basic level. I want to make sure Esther can't get out of her chair. What, <laughs> I can get on out the basic away. level, just for the simple fact that we do have an African-American president, that, that tells me how far the country has gone. Now, having said that, it's you know it's not like there's... No racism, yes, yes, I, but I, I think we've gone leaps and bounds. There's, there's, there, there is a heavy representation in the Republican Party with the uh, African American different minorities and the Democratic Party. You have plenty of Democrats, I mean, uh, uh, independents mm -hmm. that are running for mm -hmm. uh, uh, office. It, it's not like we're back in the, in the Stone Age or, or the '60s. Mm -hmm. A lot of things have happened since then. Right. I mean, I, I would actually boldly say that everyone up here that's that's sitting on this panel right now. Don't aren't even close to the type of mental freedoms that you have with people that 
or half our age okay. for the simple fact that they're not they're not seeing things the same way we are. Right, exactly. Whether Again, it's that was why I point out Esther's you know what Esther is doing. But I have to I have to get a, I have to get to the most quiet congressional candidate I've met yet. <laughs> <laughs> so Jake, what do you have to say? Well, I mean, the whole thing with uh, racism is that when you look at uh, individuals, it shouldn't matter what their skin color is. It shouldn't matter what their religious creeds are. And uh, when you go back to, you know, our, our Constitution, our Constitution doesn't have anything in there about any special rules for special groups. And that's okay. what we need to get back to. All right. Well, I mean, that's a pretty blanket statement. I, I'm, well, why are they I, bringing up the, the, the 14th uh, Amendment now where they, they're saying that, um, you know, the, the clause talks about uh, slaves, you know, uh, and not... We, well, we're talking about the immigration okay. issue. All right. You know, I, I don't want to bring right, up all so these subjects this okay, morning. Yeah. Yeah. One, yes, one yes, leans on to the other. You know. yeah. Don't ask yes. me anything, Ron There Angle. was a fork in the road a number of years back. <laughs> okay, go ahead. At that fork in the road, Colin Powell could have ascended up to the presidency or it could have been Barack Obama. Okay. I personally would have sent uh, Colin Powell a campaign contribution, put his sign in my yard, for and worked sure. for him. So, so I believe I, he would have been a marvelous president. Okay. I think the problem Esther is going to have to face is as far as politics at the end of his one term Barack Obama will drive uh, black Americans or whatever you, what you want to call yourselves uh, uh, I'm black, a Negro uh, right, Negro brother. okay you'll drive Negroes <laughs> then backwards 50 years Colin Powell would here. have moved you at my question is Esther would you have liked to see Colin Powell's president no Oh, man. Oh, really? oh, man. You know why? Because if Colin Powell well, wanted, to be, if he wanted to be president, he would have vied for That's it. not what I ask you. I ask you, would you like to have seen Colin Powell Let's not president? talk about the what would, would have been. No. You heard me. That's right. Please. Help me. Um, <laughs> would you like to have seen Colin Powell? We're I, speechless. I guess well, he brings up, he's like every other white American that sits down and he decides... Who should be? Oh, I'm just telling you. Who, so they they so decide. You're saying, you've grown up they, enough. They've they decide up. who should be president. Right. Okay, so get the hell president. out of here. So you've grown up enough. You've grown up with enough of, of white America dictating. Yeah, absolutely. And then dictation you've, is a good word because they decide who should be in office. Right, so get a, out of here. No, so you're saying, saying that's what they don't, don't like to see. What you're they don't like is there's a new sheriff in town and he happens to be African American. That's exactly. And he's doing a good job. That's what she does. Well, that's your opinion. That's your opinion, buddy. He's, he's going along, and I dare say, if Ob Barack Obama does not win a second term, uh -huh. in his first term, he will have accomplished more oh. than all these presidents put together. Right, we got to go to commercials. Yeah, no. Wait, I've got to give you How one comment. You got to give you one It's side. easy. Well, I'm, I'm still trying to get over Negro. I think we should put the car on. Right. 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 Hey, well, Esther said it. Esther said, said it. I did. I we will it. be right back. Business matter. We we are back. Final segment of Business Matters. And before Esther and Rod hug at the end of the show. I want a hug or an apology from Esther. Don't count on that. Tony. You heard that. Esther, you heard that. Don't count on it. Hug or apology or he's leaving. No, no, no. You have a critical move from me today. All right, All right Esther. Uh, you would, yeah, yeah, Michelle yeah, had a second question. Michelle had a second question. Go ahead, Michelle. We got involved. Glenn Sorry. Glenn Beck. Beck. Oh, Glenn Beck. Go ahead. Glenn Beck. Yeah. Racist? Yeah. Glenn Beck is half racist. Okay. Yeah. Half uh, races. No, they're all he tries to. He tries to. Uh, you know, I don't want to miss the point. Was I as I watched uh, Dwayne uh, uh, <laughs> listen to this whole thing? There is. Uh, there is. I mean, both of your love of your race yes. is, is there. Yes. But you're you're from a different era yeah, than, than you are, that's that's right. You, right, Dwayne? And 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 I see you trying to reconcile that. I know when you heard the the term, I'm a well, Negro. Negro I passed that, that, that kind of that that kind of kind of threw me a little bit. Negro. Yeah. Um, what do you mean? Once. Because I, I think that's a that's a very outdated term. Right, and it doesn't really see, include I'm not talking about a term. the fact that, I'm that talking about we are Americans. We are. just happen to be yeah, descendants American. of, of yeah. Africa. Yeah. And so, um, for His me, I'm right. very comfortable with the u the use of the word black or African American. Okay. But uh, Negro or colored that to me is yeah that sends you that's that's in a different different yeah. place. Oh, and I get that, that from takes you I, back uh, maybe a place you don't want to yeah. go. 
Are we? Are you left a long time ago? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going back. Yeah, amen. Okay. Esther's not leaving, so save your breath. She's I'm not Negro. leaving either. I, you know, I grew up in the Negro colored generation, mm -hmm. and that's what I am. You know, I, I, and I won't sit and, and uh, dismember what we are as a race because I, I, I sit down and talk about that in, in our uh, NACP and, but and other live, places. But you live the, uh, the uh, Dr. King days. And so Absolutely. That, that's what you saw. Absolutely. Okay. And I just saw people. As Ron said, change, you they, they're changing. They just change for the sense of change. Ron, you give Esther the credit. She's paid her dues. I've got to tell you, Esther is truly a great American. Okay. Esther's one of those people who doesn't sit home watching the TV eating bonbons. She goes out and fights for what she believes in. The okay. problem is I think she insults like Dr. King and a lot of other people who have moved uh, uh, black Americans ahead. She's driving it back. I mean, uh, uh, Nice that he was here to tell us. You know? <laughs> all right, all right. We've got to wrap it up. Everybody, uh, parting thoughts. Last uh, 10 seconds, parting thoughts. Esther. Well, you know, politics and race is, is something. Race is going to be with us forever. I don't think we're going to ever eliminate racism in this country, let alone Bethlehem. Bethlehem's the worst, uh, but we'll never be rid of it. And in politics, there's much to be desired on both sides, Democrat and Republican. All right, Jake. I agree, and what we need to do as a society and a people is really drop the whole color wheel thing. Like, the, the color of people's skin just does not matter. What does matter is how they can perform jobs and how they act and their integrity. Okay. All right. Dwayne? I agree with um, I agree with Again, going back to uh, the different parties, I think it has to do with the extremists that are in the party mm -hmm. that really cause the problem, whether it's to the left or to the right. Right. It has to and on both sides. And, and I don't think it's bad to talk about, talk about race. It's when you hold it against someone, mm -hmm. I think that becomes an issue. I think, I think it should be welcome. So just on like both else. sides, you say there's, there's extremists. And there, that's there's, what makes yeah, there are extremists that cause the around. issues, that cause the problems. All right, Ron, you close this out. I think out. the reason racism and the presidency is flaring up now, quite frankly, is Barack Obama is not doing a good job. He's driving. And again, George Bush started this whole thing going. He okay. started to drive us in the wrong direction. But the president now is driving his feather in the wrong direction, yeah, and I think it's frustrating to, to a lot of black Americans that this was going to be their guy who could say, hey, we're proud, this is our guy. And frankly, he's not delivering. He will be a one-termer, and the damage he does, it will take 50 years to replace. It, it, it's, well, it's not just African Americans. It's, it's everyone that voted for him. Nah, I was expecting point. something right, different. It's not just African Americans. I'll tell you guys, agree on a lot. I think you're going to run as a combined ticket. I just get the uh, Yeah, this is really scary for me. Can I just want to say one last thing? Yes, Tony. please. I Love Esther Lee. All right, very good. There you have it. <laughs> great, great show. Feeling. Don't forget, if Feeling. it's business, it matters. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much. <laughs>